Okay, and go. So we're here. Um, I wanted to. So we're gonna go over some of the ones that I have. Now this one just entered. Uh, this is in a five-minute chart. Um, that's what I've been doing. That's that's one of the. Uh, that's one of the. How do I say it? This was uh, the strategy that I was talking about. Um, um, this is the one that comes as the surprise. Uh, I was trying to save it for the book. I was trying to save as much as I can for the book. Um, but I decided to just kind of open up a little bit more and, you know, share a little bit of, you know, what I'm doing now. Um, so I've just began implementing this. Um, and so I had some other stuff that I wanted to do. So, but what I, anyway, this is where we are. Um, bringing in, the, I don't even use this app, but whatever, it's in there. Um, but what I do is, um, I have this, uh, histogram, you can call it. And, uh, and just follow it. I mean, it's just, you know, it tells you, um, you know, when it's, um, overbought an overbought area um then it tells you when to get in for the sell um i found that on the five minute uh five minute chart um to be very very good i mean i'm i was using it on the larger time frame but then you know, those have a lot of swings and you have to be very patient um when it comes to the h4 um this is more immediate this is something that um you don't really have to wait for um Four, four hours, eight hours goes to target. Um, I just did one on Euro NZD. Um, and that's, that's posted. Matter of fact, maybe I should show. Um, I'm doing a, I'm trying to do a, it's going to be, not going to be, it's going to be quite quick. We're going from what, a hundred dollars to, um, one million dollars. It's supposed to be a one million two whatever. I'm thinking I'll cut this off at twenty two million or something. But I wanted to see if I could get people to hop on to the trade copier. Um, I made it very low, very so you can match, make it very easy for anyone to match what I'm doing, the account size. Um, this is going to grow quite quick. I mean, uh, let's see if I can show you over here. Um, you can go. I think I had posted a link, in. but you can go to MQL5 in the market, in the community there, MQL5.com market, and you can search, okay, type in this, Washington UK cookie, the trader, you can do that, and come right in. I mean, it's, I wanted to see if I can get people to match and whoever gets in, and then, you know, maybe cut it off at a certain point, if I get like, you know, five people, and like, say, okay, you guys came in and then, you know, you go with me to a million dollars. Um, I think that's just kind of a more, that's just the way I want to do it right now instead of, you know, trying to teach my strategy. We just did it to the, now, oh, this gets turned on. Subscriptions not permitted just yet. Um, it should turn on probably within the next five hours or something like that. Um, because I just put the first trade there and I did your NDD, boom, got in and out, went in and out real quick. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Move over to here. See, I went in, I got in, it was just a 14 crop and I was going to get it to what, 20, 24. And I said, no, I'm not going to get greedy and just take 13. Cause I was going to have it go to 24 and then I would have been like, um, 30%, something like that. But and we don't need 30%. We just need consistent, you know, Five percent, six percent, or whatever, um, and we'll get you know with the pat beyond a million, sure enough. So, but I just wanted this to be it's something that's consistent, and this is what I found to be the most consistent way to make money. Hold on. All right, now, so Euro NZD, um, this ha had a spike, had a fall off breach from the uh, uh, harmonic, um, and it gave me a signal to get in to buy. Right here, um, and so I grabbed it right on there. I just I was like right in the computer, 
saw this go off like right here. Um, started to go up, went up, came down, went up, came down. All right, pretty steady stuff, not crazy. I got out like, I don't know what that price said. It was like right here. So that was my 40 pips, but I had marked it for the top of this. Oh, 74. Okay. I wasn't trying to go for 74, but I just wanted to get 40 pips and get out of it. Um, cause I found that on the five, whenever I get a notification, that's generally what I get. It's going to be like 29 to 48 pips. I mean, this like on an, like I would say no lower. I can't find one that's lower than 29 pips. Uh, if it does give you a notification, um, uh, um, trying to think, uh, like it did one that went back, like one of these clusters, like it did, like it went back like two pips or something, but like two pips, it was like really small. I had to look at it on a three minute chart. It was like really small and I had to stretch it out. It like two pips, maybe two pips, like two and a half, two pips. And then it tells you, told me to switch. I switch. It grabbed 29 and then it pulled back to 20, closed that, and then it told, said to buy, and then it grabbed like 40 pips. Was it 40? For my book. 30. It was 30. It was like 29, then it was like 35 or something like that. So it was real quick. I was like, wow. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is what I'm saying. Uh, something that is almost 100%. I mean, just, just, just grab it here. I mean, you know, this <laughs> unbelievable. Look, tells you the short. I mean, look at the short you would have gotten. I mean, this is crazy. So, um, and then I have my other stuff. Like for, to find the target, uh, I use this point. Okay. Uh, this point, this point. I said, okay, it's going here. I know I'm just going to grab half. I think it was 89.90 pips from top to bottom. Top to bottom. No, it's from, oh, from the entry. It's like from the entry. Like, so, but the whole thing is 135. It's like from the entry point. It's like, it's like, let me see, it's like 89 somewhere. Something was 89. Let me see where that was. Are you a trader? Then you'll love Connect One Forex Signals, a leading signal service dedicated to providing the best trading entries and exits for traders. We have the highest reward to risk ratio in the industry and our pips gain is as high as 1200 pips in one trade. You don't need to do anything, just set it and forget it. We'll do all the heavy lifting. We also teach how to trade successfully using what we call the RSAI blueprint strategy. Our strategy is based on harmonics, but we also use them in other ways besides just buying and selling to target. Receive signals, learn new techniques and innovative trading systems to bring you to a new level of training and profitability with Connect One Forex Signals. Sign up for a free trial at connect-one-forex-signals.multiscreensite.com or join our Telegram group at t.me forward slash k-o-f-x-s group for a group chat. It was like, get in and then it was like I measured it. Was it, was it this right here? Yeah, it was this. Oh, yeah, it was, okay. So, yeah, it was 100 pip. So, yeah, I'm just trying to see something. See, this is a spike here. A whole spike. Uh, where's 40? That's 45. From here to here, that's just 70 almost. And then reversal. So, I'm looking at some of the monkey structure. Okay. So, but anyway, I mean, that's simple, simply, you know, how, how I've been doing it. Um, so, I mean, we take a, some, look at some of the ones that we are involved in. These are holds that I'm doing. Um, I don't even know where they are. Like, just let's take a look first one. This one's, okay, that's at, that's 13. I didn't even put a stop loss. In. I've just been holding. No stop losses. No, I know stop losses on these. Um, let me see something. All right. Uh, let's see. Few, few. All right. So this one, I was in this one, then I was out of it, and then got back in. Um, 
that I was trying to say that these are going to spike up. There's the spike up. Um, and then after that, we got 83%, 8, 8%, no, 83.84 pip drop, uh, 83 pip drop. Um, but this has been, oh, and it's, I meant to hit it on the four hour. I was wondering why it looked. Oh, Okay, and these are the ones that you really got to see how they, you know, they're going to go their way, but they're going to go up to entry. Um, so you start to see that thing move back up to, you know, what to do. Um, move your stop loss to, to entry or whatever, or close to something. I mean, I move my stop loss to entry when I move 30 pips in. 40 pips, I move to entry. Um, so, but anyway, uh, you see where it told uh you to get in here right here um and it comes down tells you to get out it told you to get out right there or well, if you didn't you caught more or if you weren't paying attention or whatever you want you caught more but uh you'd be out somewhere in there whatever you know, or have a trailing stop um but then there you have, you're buying here and look at that i mean this thing is always correct Boom, right on up there, and just told you to get into the short. This thing is like it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So, and that's what I was just so excited about. Um, anyway, moving on. NZD CAD, NZD CAD, come on. So, see how that's doing. I haven't looked at this. I know it's doing good, but I don't know. All right, so okay, hundred five pips, hundred five pips. Uh, I made thirty percent off of one of. Oh, that was before. That's another account. Okay, never mind. Forget that. All right, so because I got in here and I got in here in another account and I got out like thirty percent gain. I, had a, I did a large lot trade. Um, so here, doing very well. Should continue down to here. NGD, JPY. Right now, 37. Uh, pips in. NGD, USD. NGD is doing great for me. They are doing fantastic, man. They've made me so much. Look at this one. Whew. Yes! 70 pips. Come on, baby. So when it, when it tells me to get out, I get out. You know what I mean? I got this too, that's too high. I gotta move that. Alright, so, um, let me write that down. Move and to the down. I move the, uh, alert down. So, alright, um, with some of the other ones, uh, blah, 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 blah. how's this one doing? Yeah, that was a struggle. USD JPY was a struggle for me. Alright, so we're at 38. All right. Nice, nice. Moving right along. And you notice I didn't put stop losses on these. That's how confident I am on these. Pull back. Okay. So pull back. All right. Uh, see. The silver. I think we talked about silver last night. See how silver is doing right now. Okay. So that one pulled back. I thought this was spike would be the last spike. Now this spike is now this spike. Yeah. So I should wait for that. I can just wait for it. It's all good. No, that's fine. Whatever. Um, so right now I'm up a hundred thousand, ninety-eight thousand. So without this, it would be more. But I'm okay. I'm all right. I got a lot of cushion, so I'm not worried about it. I'm letting it just go ahead and you know push up, whatever. I was prepared for that. I said this thing is probably going to just go up. Um, before.
before it turns around. It's a long stretch. All right, so that's the one that's doing bad. Uh, but the rest is so good, I don't. I'm not worried about it. All right, so that's it. Let's see, we got Nasdaq. I haven't traded that in a while, have I? Yeah. Well, no, I traded it. Traded it last week. Pow, pow, pow. Up higher and higher and higher. Wow. It went past my target. I had a target up here. Just blew right past it. So, still bullish. Still bullish. All right, so, all right, so that's it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.